Discrimination has no place in our society and should never be tolerated. Last month, the American Banker published an article exposing serious personnel problems at the CFPB, including evidence that the CFPB's own managers have shown distinctively different patterns in how they rate employees of different races. It further noted that CFPB employees had filed 115 official grievances and over 85 informal complaints out of a total staff of roughly 1,300 people. The article prompted me and my colleagues on the committee to demand from CFPB Director Richard Cordray records related to these disturbing revelations related to the Bureau's management. Since the article's publication, numerous current and former CFPB employees have contacted this committee, seeking to tell their stories. These first-hand accounts show a culture of systemic discrimination and retaliation within the Bureau. Just this week, we held a hearing featuring Ms. Angela Martin, one such whistleblower who courageously came forward to tell her story of being targeted by agency leaders for speaking out against their disturbing behavior. I have to tell my attorneys to back down. Um, I'm sorry, Ms. Martin, you were saying that Director Cordray personally reached out to you and asked or told you to have your attorneys back down. Yes, sir. Ms. Martin's story is but one example and may only be the tip of the iceberg. There may be other Angela Martins in this agency, and we encourage them to come forward to tell their story. Unfortunately, the CFPB's unique structure, free from congressional oversight, prevent us from discovering more without their important help.